So I just found out about this new game demo called Shanty, as in Sea Shanty Songs, and I'm obsessed with it. So it's a pirate-themed RPG where the battle system is a music rhythm game. When I first read that, my first thoughts were, one, the music has to sound really good in a music rhythm game, and two, the music rhythm gameplay has to feel good. And oh my goodness, the developer did it. The music is great. My only complaint is that it's so good, it's been stuck in my head for the past 24 hours. And the music rhythm sections are so good, I just wish there were more to play. In addition to that, an extra surprise was just how good the game looks. It was a few minutes into the game when I got to this screen here, and I just stopped and said, wow, this game looks incredible. This is a very busy screen, but the art direction is so crisp and clean, I was able to immediately tell what and where everything was. Uh, items have clear defining lines around them. Everything is shaded and rounded nicely. Every character looks unique, but fits a similar theme. Uh, the floors, stairs, tables, uh, seats, and walls, they all have alternating vertical and horizontal lines to make things stand out even more. <laughs> My little guy up in the, t in the corner there even has a pirate skull on his bandana. It's 12 pixels, and I can see it. <sighs> so good. Uh, every scene in this game looks just as good. The town, the beach, uh, the pirate ship, everything just looks incredible. Uh, the gameplay, the plot, the story, and the characters were all engaging. Uh, the music battle system was extremely fun. So in a game demo that is this high quality, uh, any suggestion that I have, uh, they're just going to be pretty minor, small things. Also, please keep in mind that this is only a demo, and the complete game is in active development. So I'm sure a lot has changed since this version. First, I was a little confused what to do next after the captain was captured. Up until that point in the game, both the player and the in-game character are being led by the captain as he takes you under his wing. So yeah, I was just a little surprised that after he was captured, I was supposed to just take his ship and start running some random jobs. Uh, this could be made more clear by maybe changing some NPC dialogue to say something like, oh, now that the captain is captured, who will use his ship to try to rescue him? Or something that will lead the player back to the ship, I don't know. Uh, next, as gorgeous as the graphics are, there are some spots where the graphic design took precedence over playability, uh, most notably near the beach and the church. So consider shuffling things around just a little bit to allow the player more space to walk around. <laughs> One place that wasn't too crowded was on the ship itself. In my opinion, this should feel crowded, so it's perfect the way it is. I especially love the way items fade out as you walk behind them to see where you're going. In regards to the in-game text, uh, the font that was used is really pretty and it matches the feel of the game perfectly but at times it was really difficult to process what was being said. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. It's fine as is, but just understand that some players are going to struggle trying to read it. As I mentioned earlier, the music rhythm sections are so much fun, I just want so much more. Uh, I was a little upset at first at just how long it takes the story to move along before getting to the first music section. Uh, but looking back, I'm not really sure there's much to cut out. Like, I like what's there. I don't know, maybe consider trimming just a little bit of the dialogue. Eh, but it's probably not needed. Uh, alternatively, find a way to add more music sections. Uh, consider splitting up the first music rhythm section into stages, for example. Uh, the bar fight could be three battles of increasing difficulty instead of just one. Uh, this isn't necessary. I just want more, because it's so much fun. <laughs> uh, difficulty levels in music rhythm games are tricky, because <laughs> some people will breeze through them, and other people will literally never be able to complete a single one. Uh, this game seems to take the approach where the music rhythm sections are quite challenging, even the first one, uh, but it's very lenient in regards to how many mistakes you can make. I like it, I think it works very well. Uh, the user interface was clear and easy to understand. Uh, I didn't find any glitches or bugs. <laughs> there was some slowdown during the music rhythm sections, during some of the more intense parts, 
I strongly recommend finding some way to prevent this from happening, since this is the one part of the game that needs precision timing, and any slowdown will throw off the player. Lastly, please, please, please <laughs> make the pirate ship on the title screen rock to the beat of the music. In conclusion, this game hooked me hard. It's just a short demo, and I just want to play it again, and I'm really excited to see the final game. <laughs>